All right, we're going to run it back. Yeah, all it took was Godhead and Brimstone to win. Forehead. Okay, next run. <clears throat> next run. Okay. It's the randomizer. We hit the button. <laughs> I thought it was the same. Regular Maggie to the lamb. Boring, but also fun. So sure, will NL accomplish, accomplish his objectives? Start it up. I have seen Germa running uh, the Westminster Dog Show Agility course. I mean, it's an edited video. It's very good. It's a it's a very good video. I, I it's it, it you're right. It never gets. I probably watched it like six times in a row. That's one of the videos I I, I do this once a month now. Okay, so I, I sent that video to the Discord that has my colleagues in it um, because I thought it was so funny and I believe I said you gotta see this and it was responded to with a WTF and one LOL and I said you know what you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it laugh if you don't have. Uh, if you don't have the humor and sensibilities to appreciate this video, then so be it. You know, I, I, I can't I can't hold your hand and explain why it's funny. That being said, for chat I'll do it because you guys pay my salary. But the reason it's funny is because it's a little, a really tiny man like the size of a miniature schnauzer uh, doing the agility course, and then it's all green screen and stuff. And when he goes through the when he goes through the the pipes, and he's going to yeah, da, 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 yeah, da, da, da. oh man, oh <laughs> oh man, <laughs> yeah, da, da, da. This is great stuff, man. This is look at this. Look at we have fun here. Absolutely. Look at this, man. Look at look at this. Oh man. Oh, and a lucky penny. Right, this is ninety-one percent belief on this one. It's a very good start here. Do you have Discovery Plus? I don't. Um I think I'm just I'm just at the point where I will never buy another streaming service. Like it, I don't know what it would take to get another to, to get me to convince myself to get another one cuz I'm really at the point where like if you if they came out with the best show of all time that's and everyone was like this is easily the best show that ever existed I think I would still be like it's all right. I'll just watch Seinfeld. Cancel the ones you're not using. I mean, I should. There's no denying that. Is there like a? It, there should be a, a a a. I was gonna say an app, but knowing the environment we're in right now, there should be a fintech company um, that. You plug in like your credit card number, and then it shows you a list of all the monthly subscriptions that you might have forgotten that you had, and gives you like a one tap button where you can just be like, cancel some of this shit. One of the something like that exists. That's awesome. I know you can go to your bank credit card, you know, receipt, but sometimes you just go there, you pay the bill, and then you're like, oh, I want to go watch some Seinfeld. That's a good idea. I, I support this company. For that reason, I'm in. Shane Ale Craft County didn't get renewed. I'm just going to be straight up with you. I, I so Congratulations or sorry that happened to you. Uh, but I'm not going to read all that. I don't know what that is, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what what is Shane Ale Craft County. Shane Ale Craft County, Lo Lovecraft Country, A Lovecraft County. Oh, what how did that? What what is the autocorrect on that one? Lovecraft, Lovecraft got autocorrected to Shane Ale Craft County. <laughs> Shane Ale. <laughs> oh, I was I was so confused. I like I like Hemoptesis. This is not so bad. 
Dude, autocorrect is like really. I autocorrect has gotten worse. There was a time where it sucked, and then it got a little bit better. I felt like for you know five years ago, and my new phone, the autocorrect is like insulting. I'm trying to think of specific examples. I mean, like the obvious one is is when you want to swear, and it's like you couldn't possibly want to swear. Like that's just outrageous. Um, but yeah, I really, uh, you know, imagine Trent Reznor writing with autocorrect. I want to duck you like an animal. I want to shame you from the inside. You bring me closer to dog. Okay, anyway. Um, or you bring me closer to God with a capital G. is probably more realistic, but... Um, I I still think Trent Reznor for the um, for the Facebook movie soundtrack he should have written like one song with lyrics right that was like you know I'm, I want to post on your Facebook wall tuka, 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 tuka. I wanna get you in a poke war <laughs> I wanna I want to tag you in a class photo from the third grade. I want to invite you to a group. Because we were in the same lacrosse club when we were 12. I want to tag you in some fucked up shit that makes you unemployable. Brought it back. I, I, I knew I had to keep going on that one. I knew I had to keep going to bring it back. <laughs> um, you know what? Maggie's strong. Maggie's strong. She'll take on anyone. Yeah, I felt like I hit that note there. I was like, I don't, I don't hit that many. Except in the car, I hit them all. When nobody's watching, but... Wouldn't that have been sick? Or if Will Smith played Mark Zuckerberg and did the Facebook song? Uh. <laughs> How you feeling? Bringing the heat. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Making a billion dollars ain't hard to find when you got a great idea like Facebook. I, I, uh, yeah, South, South Beach bringing the heat. Boston. I don't really want like the game kit or whatever, but... How were the scallops the day after? Everybody, well, not everybody. Some people misunderstood my tweet, okay? Fuck you. Some people misunderstood my tweet, okay? The tweet about, my tweet was, groceries, buying grocery store scallops is taking a bet on yourself. Let me, let me rephrase. Buying scallops at the grocery store is betting on yourself. Okay? That was the tweet. People took that to believe that I was buying sketchy scallops from like a dude in a trench coat who just had a bunch of mollusks, you know, under his lapels. That's not the case. The reason that it's betting on yourself is because scallops are freaking expensive and they're somewhat easy to screw up. So it was way less like I'm worried about foodborne illness and way more like you're betting on yourself to cook the scallops well. Anyway, they turned out fantastic. Thank you for asking. Explain the grocery store connection. Where the fuck do you get your scallops? I think it, scare it scares the shit out of me that as soon as I mention the grocery store, people are like, oh, the place where you buy the food that makes you sick. Like, wh what kind of grocery stores are you shopping at? Stop buying there. I don't, I personally, I don't have like a, a, a shellfish guy that just delivers, he's like, what do you want? And I'm like, three grams of the, of that, you know, sticky icky. Comes over, he's got like a little abalone, okay? I go to the grocery store and I say, give me ten of those scallops. And then they, they pop them into a little paper bag. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. 
Why am I why am I so tunnel visioned on hemoptesis? Oh, because it's fun? That makes sense. Anyway, they turned out fantastically, by the way. So thank you for asking. It's Hemopt Isis? Mm, I don't think so. I think Joe Biden would have something to say about that. What if scallops came in tubes like Pringles? Um, I, in that case, I, well, I know one consequence. The tube would be like $500. I don't know anything else about what if. I mean, that's the ultimate question, right? But the tube would be expensive for sure. That much I feel confident in. How'd you cook them? Toaster. Two at a time. Nah, I just, you know, I seared them. Mix some butter and olive oil to raise the smoke point of the butter. Why not? Let's get weird. Hold this. Um, heated it up until the you know oil butter started to shimmer a little bit. Uh, two minutes on each side. Flipped them over. It's that easy. Another stars card. Well, thank you so much. The current run is to the lamb. Thank you for asking me and thus allowing me to remind myself. Hey, 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 what the? My devil deal, you, you jerk. No, thank you. Leave that and maybe we could change it into another trinket later. I thought shallots were scallops for the longest time. Hmm, that's, uh, geez, man, like, I didn't want to see your grocery bill. You're like, every one of my sauces tastes like fish. I got thin, thinly sliced scallops in every single dish that I'm making. It's costing me a damn fortune. I just don't like this guy, man. Like, I just... Like, you're just so irritating. Just, just get on the other side of the map. Just think about what you've done. Hello, Peter. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Sheffield. Yo, what if Fran Drescher played Aunt May? Oh, now we're talking. No offense to Marissa Tomei. Sounds like a Billy Joel song. You would... I'm not even gonna go where I'm going. It just ends with, uh, You're always Marissa to me. You know, like you're, you're... That's the bad joke, police. Oh, you've hit a buffer underflow. Minus two, holy frick. It's not that bad, just because you don't respect Billy Joel. Don't take it out on me. I didn't write Piano Man. The Wasp is the lady from Lost? That is true. Um, I always forget her name. She's Canadian too, right? And also, may, 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 am I crazy? Is she maybe an anti-vaxxer? It's hard to tell these days. Evangeline Lilly! That's right. She's a total fox? Well, I hope so, because she's probably taking ivermectin right now. I don't know if she's actually an anti-vaxxer, okay? I'm just playing as if... Like, I, I thought I heard it, and now I'm being part of the problem, but... But I, I thought I heard it, okay? I, I did think that, that it existed in mind at one point. She is? All right. I thought so. I thought you were an anti-vaxxer. Um, well, only in the sense that the less other people get it, the more I can have for me. 
So while we're figuring out whether we're going to need like, you know, three or six or, you know, like one a month forever, like the more supply that's out there so that I can get access to it easily, the better for me. I'm very pro me getting the Vax for sure. As many as possible. Like if you're not using it, sign me up. Do I even want to do I even want to spend the sauce to open this man? I mean, I guess you know. Sure. 5 keys for one key. Ah, and some spirit hearts. Hold on. And some spirit hearts. And some spirit hearts. Like, look at that. You cannot game the trinket algorithm. No matter what, the next trinket that drops will still be the horseshoe. This is some Terminator nonsense. Did we live in a deterministic unit? Determ Determinator? Istic. Have you ever you want you want to you can you you can you you can you have you ever you want to you want you want you want you can you you want you can yeah you <laughs> dude that's right why this is one of your classic tweets is who called it blank instead of blank, you know, which is actually a pun. Who called it the sorting hat instead of ha calling it the determinator and letting Arnold Schwarzenegger vote it or voice it? He could vote it too, I think. I thought of a pun in the shower and built an impressively convoluted scaffolding to make it make some coherent sense. All the sheep on Twitter went apeshit. Oh, dust my wets, dust my wets. You know what? That's what you get when you live in a clown world. You live in a clown world, don't be surprised if you get sprayed in the face by a fake flower that's actually a water gun. Or somebody shoots a... If You know, if life's a circus, don't be surprised if you get shot by a gun that doesn't have a bullet. Instead, a flag just comes out of it that says bang. That's all I'm trying to say. It's a clown eat clown world out there. I don't understand the wet the dries, dry the wets meme. Okay, you have to be like super online, okay? So there was like, it's one of those tweets that is like, imagine if this happened, is uh, like, it is from years ago. It was like, you know, you ask a waiter at the pasta restaurant, if like they say, do you want some Parmesan cheese? And then you say, yes, please, dust my wets. And then they look at you and you go, dust my wets. Okay? So, like, that's the that's the start of it. And then the tweet that went viral today was, like, pasta really do be crazy, though. And it was, like, mixing flour and water, wet the dries. And then you got wet, you got wet noodles, so you got to dry the wets. And then you... Take the dried noodles and you boil them, so you're wetting the dries again. And then you take them out of the boiling water and, you know, put them through a colander and strain the water out so you're drying the wets again. And then you use Parmesan cheese to dust the, the wets. Or dust the dry. I don't know. Oh, no, you put sauce on the noodles, so you wet the dries and then you sauce the wets. Okay, there you go. It was a clever tweet, all things considered, but you gotta be, like... You got to be uh, very online to understand it. See ya. Ooh, this isn't so bad. Now that it's a speed up. Jesse, what the hell are you talking about? I still don't get it. There's no, Then there's nothing to get. It's just too much. You know, it's, it's too referential. Don't worry about it. Get mouth to explain it to you, maybe? I get it, but I'm mad. I didn't make it up, okay? It's not... Like, leave me out of it, man. We're probably gonna go to the Eddie room. I don't know, we might just teleport and finish this run early so that the, you know, believers can get on with their day. I mean, I don't want to tie up all this money for you. 
You could be subscribing to Peacock. I need the meal prep. Dude, I'm telling you, I like so I got into my TikTok account again. I, I since I got a new phone, I like I I was I knew I didn't have like access to TikTok. I was gonna have to do like a password reset or like account recovery or something like that. But then I was like, oh, I'll just do it later. Well, I finally did it. And nobody's laughing now. But I've been thinking about like what to post, and I'm like, I don't know what to uh, post. But I was thinking, man, I gotta just. Oh, you were. What the hell? Yeah, obviously, we're taking this, but. Um, it's, it's like 15% chance. Okay, sock it to me. You have a damn child, so what? You might have a child out there that you don't know of. You ever think about that? You might be blindsided in a couple of decades by a child who has now come of age and wants to know who her birth father is and then she tracks you down and maybe you're living in a cabin in the woods with a big bushy beard wearing exclusively a, a, a fully coordinated lumberjack outfit and then you're going to have to come to terms with how to be a father to somebody who's not even a child. You know, they're now an adult uh, human being and, and then it could be like, you maybe you could be played by like Nick Offerman or something like that. I'm thinking your daughter in this case, honestly, she's a little bit old for the role, but some, uh, maybe the Dakota Johnson or something like that, I feel like would fit in this movie. Um, like this could be an Amazon, an, an Amazon Studios original. Give me strength for the boss room or the Eddie room. Is this a reference? Yeah, it's a reference to the conversation that I'm going to have with Hollywood Studios after the stream ends. Anyway, but what I was thinking is, uh, I just gotta start posting air fryer recipes, just to be like to fully take the meme to the limit. Cause I'm being completely sincere. I know there's air fryer pushback, but it has changed my life. Last night to to get a scallop dinner and roasted fingerling potatoes. The overall cook time was legitimately like less than 20 minutes. Slice fingerling potatoes in half. Air fry water ice. He's been waiting for a chance. You got me back. You iced me, Jay. Slice fingerling potatoes in half. Put them in a mixing bowl. Drizzle with olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. Toss the coat. Put it in the air fryer 400 degrees for 18 minutes. Literally like you do almost nothing and you have a delicious meal waiting for you. Like, what more could you want? If you're looking for how to cook, it's like the easiest and fastest way to make... guppy? To make a... good food that takes, like, no time. You could do that in an oven for the same amount of time. I'll tell you what, motherfucker, I'll race you if you're so confident. You have an instantly preheating oven? Your oven, you, you must have a brand new piece of technology, an oven that preheats instantly. Surely, like this, you, you want, I, I'll be happy to be Donovan Bailey in this situation if you're contented to be Michael Johnson. Just don't, you know, 75 meters into the race, don't pretend your hamstring's all fucked up just because you're getting your ass beat by my sick ass air fryer. It's called the broiler. You're gonna, you're gonna broil your your fingerling potatoes. They're gonna be all burned on the outside, hard as hell on the inside. Is idiotic. Try it. better luck next time. You're gonna broil your potatoes from the inside out. It's insanity. It's madness. You'll see when I post that TikTok. You, you'll all be sorry. <laughs> you'll all be sorry. You sound like an infomercial? Well, it's just that people who have never used an air fryer think that the air fryer is overrated, not because they've got a data point of using it, but because people talk about it being good a lot. So because they think they're like the third smartest person in their fifth grade class, they're like, I'm too smart for things that dumb people like. So as a result, the air fryer must suck, specifically because so many people that are not that smart say it's good. Even though I've never used it myself. Oh, why don't I simply uh, build, line a box with aluminum foil 
and then uh, put my potatoes in that and cook them in the sun on a hot summer day. You don't need to spend 65 cents a day on an air fryer for convenience. Instead, you could just, why don't you just drop your potatoes into a volcano or something like that? It's just, just pure reactionary, you know, contrarian nonsense. It's, it's embarrassing to see. I'm embarrassed on your behalf. I'm embarrassed on my behalf. I didn't get any extra money there, but whatever. I want more money, okay. Then I want some keys. Ace of spades. It's called my infrared convection oven. Well, that's an air fryer then. That's why we're on the same page. I don't know why you're trying to divide us when we agree. Be honest, and, and if you lie about this, just I won't know, but you'll know. And it'll say more about you than it will about me, okay? Anybody here own an air fryer and they're not happy with the purchase? I'm, I'm seeing a few yeses. I'm inclined to think because it confirms my own bias that those are all lies. And I'm seeing a lot of no's. I'm seeing a lot of no's. I just, like, as somebody who, you know, I'm not like other millennials. Like, I've been known to use my oven in the past. Uh, the air fryer, for, I wouldn't, I wouldn't roast a whole chicken in it or something like that. Like, the, ov the oven is more versatile uh, in that way. But otherwise, like, for 90% of foods, I think, that would go in the oven, you're going to be way happier to have uh, the air fryer. I'm honest, like, I'm cooking gourmet meals in under 20 minutes from, like, from fridge to, to stomach. What happened to your Instant Pot? We still got it, but it doesn't get a permanent spot on the counter because I'm making way less stews now that I'm so air fryer pilled, man. Give me Hermit. No, I cook the scallops in a pan. I mean, it's like, it's a blunt instrument, right? Like, you don't want to use the air fryer for, like, delicate stuff. Like, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cook, like, a delicious ribeye steak or something in the air fryer. What are we on? Dank Depths 1? I live in a 200 square foot apartment. Would you recommend an air fryer? I mean, look. <laughs> it is very efficient, okay? Like, space-wise, it takes up a limited amount of space. And it does a lot. That being said, 200 square feet is really small. So, I think that's something... You're gonna have to bust out the... Like, a measuring tape on that one. You can put it at the foot of your bed... And then stick your feet in it at night. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You, you could, or you, do you have one of those cool places where you can like, you know, it, the, the couch, if you like hit a switch on it, it goes up into the wall. And then maybe you could have like your air fryer on the underside of the couch or something like that. So it pops out when you hit a switch. A, A, A. Golden teleporter. I sleep. You could have a Murphy air fryer. Lemmington. Incredible. I think we just, I think we roll Lemmington, man. It's just more fun. It's, it's not, I don't know, Yamhart's pretty, pretty important for us right now, but we can get around it, man. Just don't get hit, forehead. Wow, Loki. <laughs> Dude, I, I've hit a new level of psychosis. I'm not sure if you can tell, but, like, I was, uh, I was even doing the Owen Wilson voice, like, to myself yesterday and to the baby wow baby did you know if you if you don't do a good owen wilson impression have you tried just lowering the volume of your voice maybe try to do like a little a little nikki impression but then remove the speech you bet him in and then wow amazing <laughs> lemmington 
Lamington Hills, ain't nobody freaking with me. I've got my brimmy, Lamington. Lamington Hills. Egg is cracked. Well, you know what it is? It's like, um, yesterday, you know, low energy, late, came into the stream, pre-tilted, lost every game of chess, got motion sick during rage quit. Again, it was still okay. Tomorrow, Twitch Rivals, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time pawn. Rook. Pawn. Rook. Rook. Like, it's in, and a probably emote-only chat, I think, as well. Um, so you gotta get you gotta get some of that energy out there today. Did you see the TikTok of Thanos getting kicked in the head by a ten-year-old at his birthday party? I didn't. Does it have uh, the Avengers theme song in the back? Because that would, even though I haven't seen it. I feel like that would really make the, the the TikTok pop. It does? Oh, dude, great minds think alike. It's great. Oh, man. You know what? We should pick this up first. Please look it up. TikTok's so unsearchable. It's kind of hard to, to look up, but... I, I, I guess I could watch it with sound off. You just Google it. Thanos kicked in the head by 10-year-old birthday party. Why am I even picking this stuff up now, man? We're at 99. Okay. <clears throat> I, was gonna, I hate opening a new tab. It closes my tabs. Thanos kicked in head. Kid kicks Thanos in face. Cutscene Avengers Endgame. A boy kicks Thanos in the head at a children's party. Okay, no, 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 no music, no music. Okay. I'm not gonna, I can't play the music for you. I'm narrating. It's a children's birthday party. Oh! <laughs> this is okay. Thanos is down on the ground getting beaten up by Iron Man, Spider Man, and Captain America. Bunch of kids are on chairs watching. And then a little kid just runs up full speed when Thanos is on the ground and cold cocks him in the head with his, with his little Adidas. And then the mom is like, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Uh, petrified and Iron Man's holding his head. He's going, No, no, <laughs> Spider Man's covering his eyes. And, like all the other kids start, <laughs> start coming in to, to help kick the crap out of him. Oh man, that's that's really good. All the other they're swarming him. All the other kids are, are swarming the Thanos while he's down, man. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, <laughs> I love Iron Man going, ah. Oh. That is, that's a great video. Thank you so much for the, for the impetus. Hey, here's a thought. What if you gave me a good item? You, you dickhead? Like, I've had to do this all by myself so far, and all I got is Guppy. Plug Lemmington? I guess... Mm, no, I don't like that. I don't like... I, we, gotta, we gotta keep some HP. It's, it's an interesting idea. There's arbitrage to be gleaned there, but my risk tolerance is too low to add that as a core pillar in my portfolio. With music, this video is incredible. I'll have, to, I'll have to pencil that in for after the stream. When I spend 15 hours at the butcher counter looking for the perfect thing to make in this cast iron skillet. Let's go. <clears throat> Ribeye, baby. It's so expensive, though, dude. Like, you know what? It's like so. Like, 
look, I know I understand like supply chains and all that, you know, like input costs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But like, here's I got a bold idea. What if you made the good food cheap and the shitty food expensive? Like, stop making macaroni loaf seventy nine cents per hundred grams. I'm never gonna buy it. It's I don't even know why it exists. Like, why? It, you, I've never seen anybody purchase macaroni loaf at the grocery store, but it's always in the butcher counter. Is it because I don't go to the grocery store 15 minutes after it opens at 6 a.m.? I've never seen someone in my life buy mock chicken, and yet it's always in the butcher counter. Where, where are all the mock chicken consumers? There's a joke in there somewhere. It, it wouldn't work for my kind of humor. We got to get like Larry the Cable Guy on this one. So let me get this straight. When I was a kid, I took mock chicken sandwiches to school and all the rich kids made fun of me. Now I'm eating real chicken and all the rich kids are grown up and they're eating beyond chicken and they're still making fun of me. There's some... Dude, don't give me minus two. That's a bit that could totally work. Just because you don't like Larry the Cable Guy's humor doesn't mean he's not the best stand-up comedian of our generation. What the heck are you talking about? Oh, man. I don't know, I'm just throwing it at the wall, seeing what sticks. You might, if you ate mock chicken as a child and were made fun of, and then later as an adult you ate real chicken while other people were eating mock chicken and you're still getting made fun of, you might be a redneck. Right? Is that how that goes? I honestly, like, these minus twos just make me stronger. Because I've seen what you laugh at. As a result, like, I, I don't want any part of it. He's pogging up. <laughs> Larry the VTuber. Oh, man. Now, there's a joke. Larry the Cable Guy, digital avatar. Not safe for work, 18 plus, J-O-I. How many times? This is like the 17th time we've gotten Apollyon's best friend. What's J-O-I? I thought it stood for Jeff Foxworthy on ice. Like, it was like the, the blue-collar comedy tour, but like, you know, at your local Civic Arena. There's... They, they bring musicals to the ice. They very rarely bring, like, stand-up comedy to the ice. It's pretty fucked up when you think about it. I'd love to see, like, you know, Tom Segura... Make fun of Louisiana while, like, simultaneously landing a double Lutz. I mean, it's not a, a triple Lutz, but he's also not an Olympian, you know? He's a stand-up comedian. <laughs> Much easier to heckle? You can't, you can't heckle a, a, a figure skater. It would make the sport more interesting, though, if people were like, you know... Boo, they did like a, a, a... You know what it is? Like, I would never boo the jumps. But I, I would always boo when they just kind of like spin around a little bit on the ice. The jumps are pog when they just go like whoop, 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 whoop. I'm like, big whoop. Like, you're not even... I get it, you're going fast. I would be dizzy, but like, it's not that impressive. Have you ever heckled a performer or athlete? No, I consider it like, uh, like really disrespectful. 
I mean, it, oh, that's not totally true. I went to see, uh, for grade 8 graduation, we went to Toronto and watched the Tampa Bay Devil Rays play the Toronto Blue Jays. And I was definitely going like, you know, hey, Tampa Bay, you suck. But, I mean, I was like 12 years old. Like, as an adult, uh, heckling is like omega cringe. But there is some humor for sure in that largely uh, being a streamer is like a lot of it is just being heckled like over and over and then like getting used to it. But you know, when someone, the, the difference in culture, really streamers have it super hard. Because when uh, a, a, a stand up comedian gets heckled, they respond with the same thing. I don't come to where you work and slap the french fries out of your hand. You know, and everyone goes, Oh my god, it's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Um, but then, if if someone heckles you in chat, uh, and then you go like, Hey, you're stupid, people will post like an essay. Oh, he's been very rude to his audience lately. Is that one guy who said I, uh, he wished he was dead, he replied with, that's not very nice, dummy? Like, I don't think he should be insulting the intelligence of his audience. I mean, sure, like, he did threaten his life or whatever, but simultaneously, like, it made me very, very uncomfortable um, when he, uh... Because it's punching down on the guy who issued the death threat to you. Excuse me, where's... I, I was supposed to play the battery, baby? I, w I wanted batteries? I also forgot I could fly. There we go. The pungent beggar can give you rotten hearts? Is this... Is that Tolkien? The pungent beggar. <laughs> anyway, no, I think heckling is... Uh, stupid. Not good. In my opinion. I mean, sure... Steam sale? Wow, that's, like, very fitting. Thank you. Moon, High Priestess. I mean, like, I didn't come to the show to, like, I didn't realize it was, like, in... We, we don't choose the stand-up comedian, like, the same way the people of Wakanda choose who their leader is going to be. Like, it's not a comedy fight on top of a precarious waterfall. Like, we, we paid the money to, like, see the comedian... I, I like their style, and then somebody in the audience is like, I disagree! That's like, okay. So, so what? Now, I would watch that. Boy, do I have a, a show for you. It's called Last Comic Standing. It aired on NBC for too long, um, and launched one one to two careers, maybe? Fortune Themester, I think, was was uh, on Last Comic Standing. Dat Fan, I don't know if he's still like doing the the comedy thing. Probably, I assume. Jerry D, I didn't know Jerry D was on Last Comic Standing, but he, you're right, he is one of the most popular uh, stand-up comedians in in Canada for sure, or one of the most uh, like, not comic actors, I suppose. Season 1 was packed. Gabriella Iglesias, Elisa Schlesinger, also Canadian, I believe. Amy Schumer was on it? This is like, a, you're right, I mean, you know, love, love them or list them. That, that is a star-studded cast. It's like a better track record than SNL. No, I don't think Nicole Scherzinger was on that. Don't you wish your comic was funny like me? Don't you wish she, she could make you laugh like me? Don't you? Lamb. We need some, we need some real damage. Real people, real damage, Judge Judy. I wish that joke made me laugh. Minus two. Okay, go watch like all the other streamers that are live right now that tell jokes. See you in five seconds when you realize um, there aren't any. Everybody else is just going, fucking take the jungle, dude! 
What is this jungler doing? He's supposed to be jungling, but he's soaking in my lane. Get heckled, middle finger. I do think the, that um, the, the, the plus two stuff, when people give me plus twos, I'm like, that feels nice. When people give me minus twos, I'm like, critique is the death of the artist. <laughs> Played any Pokemon Unite lately? Uh, no, and again, this is like, I, I get riled up over this just because people like project their own personal lack of self-control on me. I was laughing, and I, I talked about it a billion times. Because whenever I was like, oh, I'm enjoying Pokemon Unite, people were like, it's just a matter of time till you get back in Dota. And I'm like, nah, it's not really. They're like, I've heard that before. I've said that myself. It's an insidious thing. It's a gateway. You'll be finding yourself back in the Dota mines in no time. And then I just didn't um, because I'm an adult. And then also... Uh, Thank you. Uh, when I quit Pokemon Unite, like I really, I had that stream where Apollo and Bear and I played, and I was like, I'd like to go home now. I'm not having any fun, and I haven't played it since, and have also not even had the temptation. Well, I just, I, I just, whenever it, I like, I, I don't even like miss it. But even if I did. If I thought about, like, oh, I could play Pokemon Unite, I just remember, like, for two hours, just being like, uh, I'm not having any fun, but I'm still chasing the dragon, and then, uh, hoping that it would get there, and then it never got there, and I'm like, okay, well, I think that's a, a sign that I'm done. Can we make this, I was, I was gonna make him diagonally walk into the spikes. The devil's not so bad. Stapler, I believe I have my stapler. Doubters. I mean, the run... Well, this helps a lot, but... The run is not amazing. It's a little slow. Dunka, Dunka. Dunka, Dunka. It's five luck. I mean, you wouldn't expect it to go any faster than this. Hey, decent trinket. There it is. Locust of Pestilence. You remember Locust of Pestilence for his famous quote, I bring pestilence. Man, when I get out, there's going to be carnage. Ooh, uh, regular strength card? Okay. What a catchphrase. Hmm, it's, it's interesting, the, the fake missing, though, that randomizes your spacebar item. It's interesting. Use diaper, the world card. We'll keep, I think world beats maybe devil, counterfeit penny, we don't really care. You said it was good, I said it was interesting. Crystal balls? Sorry, we, we lost our banter train as we, as we got going on this year. Crystal balls pretty good. I hate to leave Lemmington, but, but Crystal Ball is pretty solid. Spirit Hard. Guess we do already have the Compass. Forgive me, I'm not going to pick up Counterfeit Penny to do this, but... Well, apparently I am. Um, and then... I think I'm gonna stick with Lemmington. I honest, I think Lemmington's the way to go. And get me out of here. Okay, that was that. That took all of my analytical brain power. Dead Mouse made a new Roblox. Wonderful news. 
I've been looking for a new game to not ever play, and that one certainly fits the bill. Experimental treatment. Some stats up, some stats down. Actually had no impact whatsoever. And Modest Mouse made a new album. Perfect, perfect thing for me to not listen to. <laughs> Straight up. Berserk. Battery Baby. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of interested. I'm kind of interested. But, but Lemmington's just so much... Lemmington's so much fun. We'll, we'll just roll Lemmington here, because we'll... What, right now, it's a little snoozy, but all we need is a couple of high-octane wisps, and then, like, oh, man. You're still boycotting them after that concert? Actually, the Modest Mouse concert that I went to was one of the... You know, I, I had a good time. I, I have talked about their, like, dismissive attitude towards the concert. But I totally understand. I mean, that's not. I mean, who listens to Mata's Mouse and then they're like, you know what? I really expect that this band who wrote their best songs when they were incredibly depressed and under the influence of illegal drugs are really gonna bring it all to like a mid sized city in semi rural Ontario. Like, you know, that's what you'll say about Modest Mouse. They're a high energy uh, group of performers, you know? They, they, they went on stage, they, they played some old stuff, some new stuff. They didn't play Float On, which I respected, even though everybody was asking for it. And uh, then they left after an encore, like one one encore. And I was like, that was a that was a good show that I think, except for not playing Float On, pretty much pleased everybody. Um, that that likes their, uh, you know, the catalog at least. The reason I boycott them is because I don't think that they've. Uh, I I don't really like much of the music that they've made since the year two thousand and six, which is now like. You know, almost, I mean, it's 15 years ago. I saw management and they didn't play Electric Feel Kids or Time to Pretend. That's bold. I mean, Modest Mouse at the at the concert I went to, they still played the, they still played Dashboard. They, it's not like they played none of the singles. They, oh, wait, we don't need to put a bomb there. Do you actually say management? Yeah, I mean they're from my generation. I can uh, I, I name them as I see them. Don't try to steal my my valor. I was there. I was in like you know third year university when the album came out. Great song. Was that alien voice or Shaggy? Hello. How are you doing? I am your father. I am not a robot. Do not kill me. <laughs> I'd like to shoot uh, my tears straight. Please, thank you. Finally, robotic beings to rule the world. To rule the world. We go down. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. What's the best Flight of the Concourse song, man? I gotta... <laughs> it's tough because they don't make you laugh as much when you listen to them like a hundred times, right? So the ones that tickle your funny bone a little bit to start with... Don't always become the ones that are your lifelong favorites. Like, it's really, it's hard to make a song that's funny that also you want to listen to, like, a billion times. Which is why, even though it's, like, it's very popular, I must admit that, uh... The, the Neil Sissierga stuff, like, it hits that for me, for sure. Number two, huh? There's some great, uh... There's some great Flight of the Concord songs, though. Jenny is a great one. Carol Brown. Weird Al laughs at you. Look, I don't love the Weird Al parodies, quite frankly. You know, at, at my present 
age, localized entirely within my kitchen. But like, the Weird Al, uh, the polka medleys are like the definitive versions of those songs for me. Like, I, I, when I think about The Dope Show by Marilyn Manson, I don't, and now that he's canceled, you know, nobody can disagree with me without getting canceled themselves. But in, instead of thinking of the Marilyn Manson one, I just hear in my head, like, there's lots of pretty, pretty ones. They want to get you high with the in the background. But all the pretty, pretty ones will leave you low and blow your mind. We're all stars. That's I'm trying to be an accordion. Cause it's closing time. Oh, baby, it's closing time. No, baby, it's closing time. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little lightheaded there. Pentagram for one, kind of sick. Good polka mashups. <laughs> oh, mama, this surely is a dream. Dig it. Oh, mama, this surely is closing time. One last time for alcohol, so finish your whiskey. <laughs> Everybody, yeah. Okay, dude, now it's, it's stuck in my head. Intergalactic planetary planet. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm running the math. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna get me down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna get me down. I get down. quicker than a ray of light. <laughs> oh man, eyeball tears. How about that? Sorry, it's just. Sorry, I'm. I'm. I'm going. I'm reliving my childhood here. I smell sex and candy there. Who's that lounging in my chair? Who's that casting devious stares in my direction? Mama, this surely is a dream. Dig it. And Mama, this surely is closing time. <laughs> I don't know why I've got it. Like, it's all locked in there in my head, man. Ever tell you about the time I got canceled in eighth grade? We had a substitute teacher. And we used to, we had a computer in our classroom because we were like the smart class, so we got to have a computer. And uh, we got to play music during our lunch hours. We didn't go to a cafeteria, we just ate in the classroom. And uh, I brought Running With Scissors by Weird Al. And uh, first couple of songs, Saga Begins, she didn't have a problem. I think track two is Eddie Vedder. Well, my baby's in love with an Eddie Vedder. Head over heels about that Eddie Vedder. And then, uh, no victory lap, please. Track three, Pretty Fly for a Rabbi. She did not like that song. She was, she ejected the disc from the disc tray and was like, I find this highly offensive. And like, she she went off, man. She was not happy. <laughs> okay, uh, pay out the believers, we won. I had the same thing, but about the night that Santa went crazy. That song's not even, I mean, it, it does talk about like, you know, murdering elves, I guess, but it's not that bad. Okay, pay out the believers. I guess there's guts and stuff, but it's not even like, you know, you're just... It's just a song. She should listen to, like, Cool G Rap, man. She would freaking lose it, dude. I agree. I think we should do one more Isaac Casino. I'm I'm ha I'm on a wave right now. I'm having a great time. We weren't even live by this time yesterday. We still got plenty of time for crosswords. We got plenty of time for Puzz Grid. Like this is, this, yeah, there's a good energy here. 